In this video, you'll learn how to make your first Pro Tools MIDI recording. The first thing you need to know when making a MIDI recording is, one, MIDI is always recorded in ticks. Ticks basically mean that all of your recordings for MIDI will be based in beats and bars. This way Pro Tools knows how far to space out all the MIDI events you record. So let's go ahead and press Command, Shift, and N, and then hold down Command while you scroll through your types of tracks until you get to MIDI. You just need one. All right, you see it says MIDI 1 here. It is already set to ticks rather than samples. And all you need to do now is look at your I.O. panel. In the case you're only using a controller, you can always leave the top one to all, but the second one you need to make sure you always have the right output for. So in this case, I'm going to use my CME UF6 to control my Korg R3. My Korg R3 is connected to my USB Uno. It's already on channel one, so let's select it. Now, if I play this, you can hear chords. And also, you see this little green indication, which indicates the velocity of what you're playing. So if I play softly, it stays way really low. If I give more velocity, it shoots up. All right. So let's go ahead and choose a BPM and record. 80 seems nice, so let's go with that. All right. So let's roll. All right, so we've got our first recording. The problem with this is we don't know exactly what timing that's in. I was just playing in my head without looking at a metronome, nor without hearing a click track. So what you typically should do is go to track, create click track. All right. So let's try that again. All right, so now we have something perfectly in sync with the click track. But as you noticed, I didn't get in at the very start of the beat. So let's try one more thing. Let's go back to the top of the session. Right next to the metronome, you'll see a thing that says wait for note. Wait for note is the ultimate MIDI tool. When I start rolling, wait for note waits until you play your first note to actually start rolling. So, And now you have a perfect MIDI recording. Now that you've got your perfect MIDI recording, you should actually make sure that you print it to audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new audio track. It's already set up. And now, turn off wait for note, we can record it. And that's everything you initially need to know about the MIDI recording.